One way to look at the relationship between the task that students are given and the setting in which the learning activity takes place is on this matrix here. Um, you'll see there that there's on the left hand side the, this um, continuum describes the task, authentic tasks at one end and more decontextualized tasks at the other end. And along the bottom is describing the setting. So you've got the academic setting, like be that at the school or university. And on the right hand side is the real setting, such as the workplace. Now, if, you have, if we have a look at each of these quadrants, uh, an academic task set in an academic setting is probably about 90% of what happens in schools and universities these days, where students are given tests and quizzes, essays, lab reports, short answer questions and exercises uh, that are conducted within the classroom. Uh, if you have a look at the next quadrant, this is an academic task set in a real setting. So often this is things like where students will go on a field trip. So they're doing academic sorts of things like worksheets, um, but they're doing it in a real setting. This is something that's happened a lot with, um, for instance, mobile learning, that often the, um, the real strength of the, the mobile device is not used when simply worksheets are, are given to students to use in a mobile situation. Uh, so they, these are um, where the students are doing something that the teacher has usually set, an academic kind of task, but it's conducted in a real world setting. The next one is uh, real tasks that are completed in a real workplace. And the examples here are where students go out on practicums, they go might go to, into hospitals, nurses might go to hospitals, for instance, teachers would do practicums in schools, um, or uh, students have placements in, in um, uh, shops and salons and businesses and so forth. So these are real-world tasks that are completed in a real workplace. This is possibly the, the best way that students can actually be prepared for future problem-solving in real situations. But it, it is a, a fairly um, time-consuming and complex way to really teach everybody. We, we do need to keep our classroom settings to make learning more efficient. And indeed, this is exactly what we mean by authentic learning. They're realistic tasks, but they're set in an academic setting. It's a pedagogical approach which gives complex but cognitive re cognitively real tasks for students, things that can be done in a classroom, but they're doing tasks as if they were doing um, the, the, um, the performance or the skill uh, in the real world setting.